Five years ago, millions of lives would be changed forever in the wake of Hurricane Harvey. To understand more, let's rewind back to Harvey's beginnings. Hurricane Harvey started out as a minuscule tropical wave of Africa in mid-August 2017, slowly developing over the next few days as it moved due west towards the One Road Islands, eventually attaining the name Harvey on August 17th. On August 18th, Harvey made two landfalls in the islands of Barbados and St. Vincent as a 45 mile hour 1001 millibar tropical storm. On the 19th, unfavorable conditions led to Harvey degenerating back into a tropical wave as it entered the Caribbean. Little did anyone know, the worst from Harvey was still yet to come. Entering increasingly favorable conditions once in the Bay of Campeche, Harvey would regenerate back into a tropical storm on August 23rd. Then on August 24th, Harvey reached hurricane strength. Continuing to rapidly strengthen as in New Texas, Harvey peaked late at night at Category 4 intensity on August 25th with 130 mile an hour winds and minimum central pressure of 937 millibars. Soon thereafter, making landfall over San Jose Island, Texas at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. After moving inland, Harvey slowed down and stalled for two days, eventually moving and entering back into the Gulf of Mexico on August 28th. On August 30th, Harvey made its fifth and final landfall near Cameron, Louisiana as a 45 mile an hour tropical storm with a central pressure of 991 millibars. By September 2nd, Harvey would finally dissipate. Five years on, the scar left by Harvey still remains in Texas, with bare slabs left of what were once thriving businesses. Trees left this figure due to the intense, long duration Category 4 winds at its landfall, to the many abandoned cars and homes from Harvey's catastrophic flooding throughout the Crater Houston area. Hurricane Harvey is certainly a storm that will be remembered for many, many years to come, and certainly a storm that I personally won't forget anytime soon.